Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Aditya Aurangi and in this video we're going to learn how we can write data frame to a CSV file in the hard drive and how we can read the CSV file uh, in the Python environment as a data frame. So, and we will also see two functions which are head and tail. So we saw these function with series, uh, how it works, it works in a similar way. So we'll see that at the end. So let's first create a data frame. Okay. So a equal to p dot data frame inside I will give my data in terms of list. Okay. Let's do this on the Okay, let's see how it looks. So we have four rows, two columns. Now let's assign the columns to something. Quotes. Now columns are done. A dot index equal to. Let's give x comma y comma z okay now our a looks like this two columns four rows and index are and column values are reassigned so to save this as a csv file we have to write the following code so there is a function to underscore csv so we are converting a data frame to csv so a is our data frame to underscore csv to csv we are converting and here, here we have to pass the path where we are going to store it so i have a d drive so this is how we write the address d colon slash then i have a folder d let me see the folder first inside a folder df okay df folder slash and now i will write the name of the file so let's say df or data dot csv okay now if i press enter now in this folder a new file is created data so it is a csv file now if i open this so my data frame can be seen a b one two three one three five seven b has two four indexes are x y z w okay so now we have uh, saved the data frame as a csv file so let's go back to python so that's how we save it now we can save it anywhere let's say if i didn't want to save it in this straight in the data for d drive as uh, dummy data so now it is also saved in this let's go to data where there is dummy data okay so we have to give the path and name of the file now this is how we write it in the csv format now how we can read it let's read it uh, read it into a data frame which is b b equal to p dot See here, two CSV is a function, so we are applying it on data frame. Now we are using a function from Pyth uh, pandas, which is read underscore CSV. So one function is two CSV, another is read CSV. So reading from one of the above files. So let's do D under colon, then do dummy data. Okay both are same dot csv if i press enter now i have this <clears throat> so original data frame was this a now it's i saved it into a csv file now reading from csv file it reads in a different way so this index part see x y 
Z and W are the were the indexes. So it row uh, read it as a column of data frame and added it to the data frame columns so instead of adding it to see uh, the index value. So that is one thing which you have to keep in mind. But and it makes sense also because if you are saving data in CSV file, you don't have indexes there. So you just have a normal table like this. Let me <coughs> update it. So you have like C enter 0, 33, 4, 12. So you have data, you have columns and data. So indexes we can assign later on. So it is showing yes. Okay. Now if I go back, do one more time. Now my B will look like, okay, where was this? Where is this file stored? It's in the DF folder. So I opened the wrong file. Let's read it from this file. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the file in which I made changes. So now if my B will look like this. So, so if I have stored data there in CSE file, this is how I will read it. Okay. So see, we can do this also. We uh, we have, when we have saved it to a CSV file data, data frame. So we will have indexes saved also, but when we read it, uh, those indexes will be read as columns. So we can use delete property to delete those indexes and reassign new one. Okay. So if I do this dummy data, now my B is this. So this data frame was saved as a CSV file from Python itself. So how can I undo changes and make it like how it was originally? So we have this Dell. I will do B of what I want to delete zero. Okay. So it gives me error. Hmm. We can delete a B Dell. If I do B, let's see whether we can delete it or not. Oh, wait, B as zero no key error b of a let's see we can delete so if we read it we cannot delete this indexes so we have to go in the csc file and make changes there but anyways you know how we can save to a csc file and read from it i was thinking about deleting this and then reassigning this 0, 1, 2, 3 to X, Y, Z. So I can make it. It is showing unnamed. What is this? Let's try to do C equal to B or C equal to P dot data frame from this B we are taking. Let's say C is get the same thing okay and the uh, wanted to remove this unnamed let's see whether we can or not uh, a b dot columns equal to let's give it a comma b so if i see b oh we can do it like this so let me read it one more time from the dummy data. Okay. Now B looks like this. If you, if I, <laughs> if I want to make it like how it was originally, what we can do is reassign the uh, columns to something else. The, this unnamed colon zero, it is for only zero only. So it is showing the column with zero is unnamed. So column name is unnamed. So this is B 
b dot columns let's do it x this is a keep pressing the up arrow so now b looks like this here the x column is unwanted so i can do delete b of x so if i do b again it looks like this but still 0 1 2 3 i can do b dot index and reassign them so this way we have read the data from the csv file and converted it to how it was originally so x comma y comma z comma w if i do this now if i do b it is this and a is this original only so i hope you got it the things which, which we did so if you save it in the csv file the index is also saved as a column and then when you read it now you have one extra column the first column is the index value so you can reassign the first column to something because it was it had no name so it was showing error if we were going to delete this after assigning a name to it you can delete it and then you can reassign index to the original value or whatever you want so you have brought back the data uh, properly now uh, the functions which i said head so head function what does it do <clears throat> it shows first five default values i only have four rows but it shows five default first five uh, values so default is five if i give two so first two values if i give one so first value first row so first rows see similarly a dot tail default it will give me last five rows <clears throat> so i have only four so it gave me all the rows so if i do three last three rows so seven eight is there five six three four is there one two is not there so if i do last one so last row so i hope you got it and learned something and go through this one more time if you find it difficult i'm sure you will understand it in the second row so thanks for watching i will see you in the next one